We all want to be loved, but our languages of love are different from one another. We don't all speak the same languages of love or language of love. What do I mean? For example, many of you have probably heard, people come to me that you've heard, the woman comes, the wife comes, she says, say it. The house is always clean. The food's on the table. The kids are, you know, taken care of. Everything that he wants, I've, I've made. The food, the shirts are ironed, the house is clean. What, what else does he want? What else does he ask me for? And then the husband comes, he says, say it, I work from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Every year we take five vacations. Every year she changes her car. She has a credit card. I take care of the house. I buy the best clothes for them. I take them to uh, the restaurants every weekend. I spend so much time. I work like a dog. And she doesn't appreciate me. Do you see that they both think that they're actually showing their love to one another, but this is not what the other guy wants. This is not what the husband wants. He says, you know what? I'd rather just eat anything. I want you to communicate to me in my language of love. Yes, some people, their language of love could be through their stomach. Some, very few. No. Hajjah, we're going to have a hard time now. Because the whole lecture is going to get affected. Yes, of course, no one wants to stay hungry. Bas. The difference is, no. And then the, the woman, the woman, she says, Sayyid, I don't want him to work 12 hours a day. I don't want him to work 16 hours a day. But he thinks that this is how he's showing his love to his wife and children. So, enough said, I think that we all agree on this point. What are the different lang love languages? What are they? There are four or five different love languages. I'm going to list every one of them. First love language is words of affirmation. Many people like to feel loved and feel the love coming from their father, mother, hu husband, wife, brother, friends through words of affirmation. Thumb something that we rarely Middle Easterns Easterners rarely do, especially within the family. I'll give you an example. Let's say you take your son, let's say, to a football game or soccer. So the father is watching his son and he's like, oh man, he, this guy's never getting the ball. And his son sits in the car, he's driving him home, and he says to him, son, why, why are you playing basketball? So he says, Dad, I like basketball. I think I'm good at it. <laughs> are you kidding me? You're good at it? You never even had the ball. You know how hurtful that is? That's very hurtful. We don't watch what we say sometimes. Or let's say his wife has cooked a meal. She thinks it tastes good, but it doesn't. So we, as soon as we take the first bite, or it doesn't have to be the husband, it could be one of the children. Oh, mom. I'm going to be looking at this side saying this. Oh, mom, what is this? It's so salty. God, I can't eat it. And I'm going to order pizza. That's hurtful. Moms get upset. And it's definitely not going to show our love. Or let's say your husband's a teacher. Let's say... Then, He's a teacher that yeah, kids don't like him. And we tell him, you know what? Yeah, all those kids, they, they don't like you. You're, you're a terrible teacher. That's probably not the best way to show our love. Instead, what we can do is tell, you know, the mom, the wife, whoever is in the house cooking, even if it doesn't taste the best, we make them feel it's the best. We say, you know, the food was amazing. Thank you. It just takes two words, three words. Words of affirmation. It shows our love. Or let's say your son, he really doesn't know how to play basketball. But you tell him, son, you know, you were really good out there. 
I really think that you should continue to play basketball. Believe me, he's not going to continue a professional career if you tell him that. But it makes him feel special. It makes him feel that what he's doing is good at what he's doing. But if I always tell him, you don't know how to do this, you don't know how to play this, you don't... He's always going to feel that he has, he's missing something. And at work, he's going to feel the same way. At school, he's going to feel the same way. At home, he's going to feel the same way. When he gets married, he's going to feel the same way. Let's not put that in our children. It's a disease. Or let's say your husband is a teacher. He's a driver. He's a doctor. Whatever he is. And even if he's not so good at it, tell him you're the best teacher. Tell him you're the best engineer. Tell him, you know, you're the best husband. You're the best father. 